Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to episode number three of Call of Wii U. And up on screen right now, you guys who correctly guessed the number of times I said kill cams in yesterday's video are on screen right now. Also, the, all the channel links are in the description. You guys can check them out if you want. Um, all of these YouTube usernames correctly responded to the answer, and the correct answer was 31 times. I actually said kill cams 31 times in that video yesterday. And it kind of was unintentional. Um, I was just listening back on on uh, how many you know on the video before I was about to render it and I was like wow I said kill cams a lot in this gameplay so I challenged you guys to count how many times I uh, said it and you guys uh, a lot of you guys guessed it right I didn't actually think that many people would you know get it but um, got you guys all on screen so you can look for your name and all that kind of stuff so hope you guys uh, do enjoy this gameplay it's with the HS10 and I'm playing with pop tart and Nintendo man again from the only shotgun clan and that clan I am into so you guys can check those three dudes out in the clan channel if you want. We'll be doing a lot of uh, shotgun stuff in Black Ops 2, I can imagine, including montages and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, in this episode, guys, of Call of Wii U, I wanted to talk about downloadable content. Yesterday's video was about kill cams, and the day before that was about 6 vs 6 and ground war lobby. So, like I said, this one is about downloadable content, meaning map packs or, you know, new game types like Infected was in Modern Warfare 3. So, I'm really looking forward to downloadable content. One thing's for sure is that Black Ops was very, very close of getting a map pack at one time. When the first map pack came out, I think it was Ascension or something. Um, the you know the first map pack for you know Black Ops it almost came out on the Wii. I believe it was going to come out on the Wii, but at the time there was like a little bit of a dispute between Activision and Nintendo, and pretty much you know the game Black Ops was breaking a lot of Wii's at the time, and what they were doing Nintendo was actually fixing them for free. If you sent it sent your broken Wii to Nintendo at the time, they could fix it for free, and that's what happened to me. And I guess Nintendo and Activision kind of got in a little dispute or argument or whatever because Activision didn't want to pay for the Wii's that Nintendo was fixing, but Nintendo wanted them to, something along those lines. And that's the reason why the map pack never actually came out on the Wii. Uh, but I've seen hackers actually access some of the the files, the getting ready files, I guess you could call them, uh, for the map packs that were about to go on, on the Wii. But they didn't actually happen. As you guys know, some other games on the Wii receive downloadable content like Guitar Hero or Rock Band. You can actually buy some songs it downloads onto your Wii and you got a new song to play so on the Wii U I'm definitely looking forward to seeing some downloadable content like I said it could range from anything from a map pack to some new game types to anything maybe even guns in Black Ops 2 maybe they'll be adding some new guns in who knows what they'll, what they'll do next but the thing is that I'm not 100% sure there's going to be DLC although Nintendo has confirmed there will be D DLC or downloadable content on, to, on the Wii U, but it's just a matter of Activision and I guess Nintendo kind of putting their past aside and kind of putting, you know, DLC out. It'll make more money for Nintendo and ultimately that's what they need, obviously. So I don't know. We'll see how that will work out. I'm sure it'll be a lot easier to give DLC onto the Wii than it was in the past with just the Wii. But other than that, I mean, map packs could be good or bad. Some maps are, you know, all right, but the other ones, you know, there could be some good map packs. Um, a lot of people who buy map packs on Modern Warfare 3 tend not to even like them or anything like that. Uh, when I bought the map packs for Modern Warfare 2, I didn't really like them because I actually ended up deleting them because what happened was it would, you know, once you got the map pack, it would put you with players. You could only play in matches with players with the map packs, and you would rarely actually get the map. I, I thought it was a playlist um, that you could play separately like in Black Ops, but it wasn't, so I didn't like the Modern Warfare 2 map packs. So. You know, like I said, it could be good and bad. I didn't really, you know, think that it would be bad, but I don't know. I personally do expect Black Ops 2 on the Wii U to be receiving um, downloadable content and hopefully, you know, we'll receive everything. Hopefully, we can even get the Elite part of it. Um, that's how they do the map packs now, if you guys don't know. Um, you, you subscribe to Call of Duty Elite, I think it's like almost $60 or $50 a year or something like that, and you get all the map packs all the downloadable content you get a lot of features for online your website you can go on and look at your player card you can look at how you done how you did your last few games and you can also look at theater mode and you know your your recent games that actually records them and you can put them on the site and all that kind of stuff so it's a good service i guess if if you buy the map packs if you're going to end up buying all the map packs anyway that's more than fifty dollars so i think elite is a good deal if it comes for the wii i'll definitely be buying elite um, and like I said, other than that, I mean, I don't really know how they could do the whole, you know, map pack thing on the Wii U. 
maybe they'll just keep them separate for the Wii U and maybe they'll work on developing the Wii U part of the Elite website. Um, I'm not sure if they actually put time into developing that right now. I, I, I doubt it pretty much. I think what they're going to do is, you know, the next Call of Duty, they'll probably make Elite for it, but I don't, I don't really see it in Black Ops 2. But that's pretty much my take on map packs and DLC for Black Ops 2 on the Wii U. You guys can let me know in the comments below what you guys think of it. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.